Okay, let's take a look at the video object. So I'm going to go into my gallery here, and I'm going to click on this little film strip icon to go into the video folder. You'll see a file on here called Magnolia MPEG, and I'm just going to click and drag it onto my stage here, and center it on my stage. Okay, so this is an MPEG clip that's included with Autoplay Media Studio. As you can see, as soon as it hits the stage, it automatically displays a transport bar here, a slider, and a little time display here. So that's by default. If we press F5 now to preview this, you'll see that the video auto starts and it goes ahead and plays through. Okay. At this point we can actually pause the video if we like, restart it, stop it, play it from the start, and so forth. As you can see the time is displayed here on the right, etc. So it's a fully functional video player as is, and all we had to do was drag and drop that video file right onto the stage. Okay, So you can see it's a very convenient object and it's a great way to include video as part of your projects and presentations. So we'll go through now and we'll take a look at the properties of the video object as well as the actions.